Bullshit references. General page Tom. Hello, and welcome to the Sonar Project. We thank you for joining us. You can reach us at sonar-project.org. Today, we're going to be looking at the menus that are within Sonar GNU Linux. We're just going to take a quick tour. We're not going to really explain much of all of the programs within the menu, but we just want to give you an idea of what it looks like, what to expect, and for you to get comfortable with uh, your new free software desktop. So let's take a look. Right now we're at the uh, desktop and what we're going to do is press the Alt and F1 button to get to the menu. References. General page tab. Top expanded edge panel frame. Applications menu. Okay, now we're in the menu and it's it applications. So right now I'm going to press the down arrow through the different um, options that we have just so you can see what happens when you push down. So right now I'll start pressing down and you can see what we have. Accessories menu. Graphics menu. Internet menu. Office menu. Sound and video menu. System tools menu. Universal access menu. Sonar software center. Accessories menu. Okay, so we're back over to accessories. So now what you want to do is, while we're on accessories, we're going to press the right arrow, which is basically going to extend the menu, and then you can see what's within accessories. So now I'm pressing the right arrow. Okay, manager. And now what I'm going to do is start pressing down to go through these options. Calculator. Character map. Contacts. Disk utility. Files. Help. Screenshot. Terminal. Text editor. Virtual box. X diagnose. Archive manager. And now we're back to the archive manager. So what I'll do is press the left arrow to get back into the main part of the menu. Accessories menu. And now I'm going to press down again. Graphics menu. Now we're in graphics, so what you want to, if you want to see what's in, within graphics, you press the right arrow. Document viewer. And then start to, and press the down arrow to go through this menu. Image viewer. Shotwell photo manager. Simple scan. Document viewer. And now we're already back through, so a left arrow back into the main menu. Graphics menu. Press the arrow key down. Internet menu. Now we're in internet, so we'll right arrow over. Desktop sharing. Now we'll start pressing down. Firefox web browser. Pigeon internet messenger. Ribbon remote desktop client. Thunderbird mail. Transmission BitTorrent client. Desktop sharing. Okay, so we're back at the beginning. So a we'll left arrow. Internet menu. And then down arrow. Office menu. Now we're going to right arrow over into office. Document viewer. LibreOffice. LibreOffice calc. LibreOffice writer. Document viewer. Okay, so we'll left arrow back into the main part of the menu. Office menu. Press the arrow key down. Sound and video menu. We're at sound and video now, so now we'll right arrow over. Press arrow disk burner. Movie player. Record my desktop. Sound recorder. VLC media player. Press arrow disk burner. Okay, so now we'll left arrow back into the main part of the menu. Sound and video menu. Press down. System tools menu. System tool. So now, this is where it kind of, there's, it expands even more. So we're going to right arrow into system tools and we'll see what's within system tools. Administration menu. So now we're going to be pressing the down arrow. Preferences menu. Preferences for sharing of files. Disk usage analyzer. Unburst. Log file viewer. Power statistics. System monitor. System settings. Upsterm. Exterm. Administration menu. Okay, so now we're back to administration, but here's where we can expand it even more. So now we're going to right arrow over into administration. Network tools. Sonar software center. Startup disk creator. System testing. Update manager. Network tools. Sonar software center. So now we'll left bar arrow back over into administration. Administration menu. Now we're going to down arrow to preferences. Preferences menu. Preferences for sharing of files. And now we're going to right arrow into preferences. Advanced settings. Compass config settings manager. We're pressing down now. Desktop sharing. Disk utility. Keyboard input methods. Main menu. Network connections. Onboard settings. Passwords and keys. Personal file sharing. Startup applications. Advanced settings. Okay, so now we're going to left arrow back over to Preferences. Preferences menu. And down arrow. Disk usage analyzer. Unburst. Log file viewer. Power statistics. System monitor. System settings. System settings is something you're going to want to check out because there's a lot of things you can do within here. So let's open up System settings and press Enter. Sifocket references. General page tab. Applications menu menu. System settings frame. Text. Okay, so now we're in System settings. So I'm going to press the Tab key. Appearance icon. And now what I'm going to do is press the right arrow. Brightness and lock icon. Keyboard layout icon. Language support icon. Online account icon. Privacy icon. I'm going to press down. Mouse and touchpad icon. Now I'm pressing left. Keyboard icon. Displays icon. Color icon. Bluetooth icon. Additional drivers icon. 
Now I'm going to press down again. Network icon. Now I'm pressing the right arrow. Power icon. Printer icon. Sound icon. Wacom graphics tablet icon. Now I'm pressing the down arrow. Universal access icon. Left. Management service icon. Details icon. Date and time icon. Backup icon. Down. And then that's the all of the system settings menu. So I'm going to press Alt F4 to get out of here. Orca preferences, general page tab. Now we're back at the uh, where I had the Orca preferences box open. So what I'm going to do is press OK. OK push button. Orca user settings reloaded. Desktop frame. Desktop mod video icon. Yeah, because now the Orca preferences box is gone because I have it saved, not the show. So let's go back to the menu. I'll press Alt F1 again. Desktop expanded edge panel frame. Applications menu. And now I'm going to press the arrow up. So now software center. Up again. Universal access menu. No, we'll right arrow over into this. Onboard. Orca screen reader. Onboard. And so here's where the assistive technology is. So we'll left arrow back over. Universal access menu. So now software center. The sonar software center is where you can install packages, but we're going to have. Uh, different tutorials on how to do that so we won't get into that into this video so let's go back to the desktop because there's one more menu to see so here we'll press the escape key applications menu desktop frame desktop mod video icon okay so now we're back at the desktop so now I'm gonna press control alt and tab and that's gonna bring us to the top menu top expanded edge panel top expanded edge panel frame okay so now we're in the top menu so now I'm gonna press the left arrow Device menu menu. Now I'm gonna press down. System settings dot dot dot. Displays dot dot dot. Startup applications dot dot dot. Software up to date. Printers. Lock screen control plus alt plus L. Lock out dot dot dot. Suspend. Shut down dot dot dot. Here's where you can shut down your computer. System settings dot dot dot. So now I'm gonna left arrow. User menu menu. Switch user account dot dot dot. Guest session. Guest session is really cool. Um, if you have a friend over, they can log in as a guest and whatever settings or changes they make will automatically just go away as soon as they log out and you log back into your computer so it's a really cool option to have if you share your computer with people that are visiting or whatever Jonathan, user account dot 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 so now we're left arrow 122 p.m. menu Monday 24 September 2012 time and date settings dot 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 Monday 24 September 2012 now we're left arrow again volume 30% menu new volume 30% 